All right, I'm going to show you how to install Silly Tavern on Windows. This should work on Windows 10, Windows 11. Um, you can go to sillytavernai.com and hit the install link up here, or you can go to the official GitHub and just start from there. So I'll use the sillytavernai.com. I'm going to go to install. I'm going to scroll down until I get to the Windows. And the first thing we're going to do is install Node.js if your system doesn't already have it. And you're going to want to download this LTS version. I already have it downloaded to save some time. So I'm going to go in here and run Node. Next, accept the license agreement. Leave that. That's all default. Leave that default. And hit install. Hit yes. And it's going to take just a little bit to install. And while that's installing, we're going to go back to sillytavernai.com and open up the GitHub from this link. It'll go to the releases page. There's a pre-release right now. I'm going to go to the most stable version, which is at this time 1.4.9. And I'm going to download this zip for the source code. I already have that downloaded once again to save some time. So I'm going to extract that. Extract. And we're going to let that extract. Let's check on this node install. Looks like it's almost done. Hit finish. Wait for this extraction to complete. And I'm going to take the folder and do control X and I'm going to move it over to my documents. I already had it installed earlier so I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to paste it in here. The reason I'm doing that, if I leave it in my downloads folder and I clear out my downloads folder later on, I'm going to delete my Silly Tavern instance. So next you're going to enter the folder. And you're going to go down here for this start Windows batch file. And you're going to double click it. It's going to open a command prompt. Well, first Windows is going to tell me that it's an unknown publisher. I'm going to hit run anyway. Then it's going to open a command prompt. And start going through the install process. And that should just take a minute or two. All right, looks like everything installed. It's generating thumbnail cache. And then as soon as it's done, it's going to open up our Silly Tavern instance in our web browser. And there we go. We have our instance of Silly Tavern running on our computer. We have all the default characters loaded. I'm not going to show how to connect to an API in this video. I'll do that in a future video. But as you can see, everything's working and running. And in the future, if you want to shut down Silly Tavern, you can just close this power. You can just close this command window and watch I'll refresh. Silly Tavern's not running anymore. And if I want to start it again, I go back to I go back to the Silly Tavern folder, hit start, and let it run, and it'll open up again. So that's how you install Silly Tavern on Windows 10 and Windows 11. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments, or go to reddit.com slash r slash Silly Tavern AI.